Hi everyone, Brian here. I am uh, going to do my first recipe. Uh, my, not my first recipe uh, ever, of course, but my first video recipe. And today we're doing a recipe on, I know you can't see me, but I'm up here. Uh, <clears throat> a new recipe that I did re at Christmas for almond cookies. It's low carb, but it's uh, very good and anyone can make it. It's super easy. First of all, I want to show you uh, the butter here. Uh, this is one stick of softened, softened butter. Uh, if you are using um, salted butter, uh, omit the salt later in the recipe and I just dropped the butter on the floor here. So basically, I'm going to put this in my mixer here, soften it up a little bit. So that is one stick or half a cup of butter. Scrape down the sides. Next, we have two cups of ground almonds or almond flour, as you may want to call it. Almond flour and ground almonds are the same thing. Uh, so that goes in the bowl. This is very simple. I'm just going to get my Splenda. I use a, a liquid type of Splenda. It's called Sweets Free. Uh, however, uh, the powdered Splenda is uh, is good. It just has a, a couple of more carbs in it, obviously. Um, it's a half a cup of Splenda, which in sweets-free language is um, an eighth of a teaspoon. So, I'm going to add my Splenda now. That's all I need. Uh, this stuff packs a wall up. You can actually buy this online, Sweets Free. I don't know if you can see it there. It's great. I will put a little link in my uh, blog actually to show you where to buy that. So that's all mixing in here. And since this was salted butter, I am not going to add uh, salt, but if it was unsalted butter, you add half a teaspoon of salt. To that, you add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I always use pure vanilla extract. I never use the artificial. A little bit more went in there, but that's okay. And as well, a teaspoon of almond extract, and I always use pure almond extract, of course. And the baking. If you're baking, you might as well use the best. And it's not that much of a difference. So I'm going to mix that up. You can smell the wonderful, uh, wonderful smell of almonds in here because of the... Uh, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's uh, kind of like a chocolate chip cookie dough. So it doesn't look any, any different than what any other cookie dough would look like. And I'm just going to mix that up and when I come back I'll be uh, putting it on the uh, cookie pan. Okay? Okay, I'm preheating my oven to uh, 300 degrees and I've got one of these uh, fancy little scoops here that you can see and uh, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of these on until there are, there is no that are left. You can choose whatever size scoop you want. I like using these. I bought them and I use them all the time. You can use these for meatballs or cookies or anything really. And the nice thing about these scoops is that uh, they give you a uniform sized cookie so that everything cooks at once. smaller if you want. And I think I'm going to get one more cookie. Maybe, maybe one more 
smaller one, but that's about it. No, not really. Uh, it's not going to make smaller one. I'll just put that aside. But here we go. This is, uh, I'll move this along here. So basically, those are our cookies. It makes uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, four times three is 12 and 13. So it makes 13 good size cookies. And actually, I shouldn't be wasting anything. So a little 14 one here for the cook. And what you do, you put these in a preheated oven, uh, 300 degrees. And uh, after, let's see here, bake for five minutes. And after that, I will take a fork and uh, press them down a little bit, kind of like when you do a, a peanut butter cookie. So in the meantime, I will uh, let my oven preheat. I will put them in the oven and in five minutes, I'll take them out and press them down and put a, an almond in the middle and we'll go from there, okay? Be back in a second. Okay, it's five minutes later and I'm taking out my cookies here. And if you can't tell, uh, this pad here is uh, called a sill pad. And uh, I actually saw it on Martha Stewart and on her TV show. This thing is amazing. I mean, laugh as you may at Martha Stewart. I don't laugh at her, but I mean, if you think it's kind of cheesy, she has excellent cooking tips. And I'm telling you, this silt pat is uh, a lifesaver. It's, uh, they're, they're a little bit pricey, but, but they're well worth it. And I got this for Christmas from a friend of mine and uh, have used it constantly ever since. So five minutes after you put these in the oven, you press them down like you're pressing down a, a, a peanut butter cookie, if you've made peanut butter cookies before. And I'll just do these quickly. That's the small one. I'll do that once. Uh, uh. Oh, I don't think you need sound effects now, do you? The butter has melted and makes it quite easy to put these down. Press these down. Okay. What I do next, take out an almond, put it in the middle of each one, press down. If you like almond cookies, it's got to have an almond in it. These things bake, but they don't really bake, I guess. Like, there's no flour in it. This is flour-free, so it's, it's uh, gluten-free as well. And they, the uh, texture of these is a little bit like shortbread. So if you like shortbread at Christmas or whenever during the year, you will really like these. And they're, they're quite crumbly. They fall apart, but uh, they're, they're really nice. I really like them. So anyway, for now, uh, these are going to go back in the oven, and I'm going to bake them uh, for another 15 minutes, okay? So these go back in the oven at 300 degrees for 15 minutes, and we will be back. Okay, it's uh, 15 minutes later, and here they come. Honestly, they don't look very uh, different from how they look when they went in. You can tell they are they break up very easily, so I'm going to leave them here for a little bit to cool down, and hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't get eaten by a couple of running uh, animals around here. I'll, uh, I don't think cats like almonds, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'm going to post uh, this. Thank you very much for watching. Very easy. Uh, anyone can do this. Uh, you can get the ingredients anywhere. If you uh, don't have liquid Splenda, just buy some Splenda in powder form, in granular form at the store. And uh, you can make these super easy. They're gluten-free, they're sugar-free, they're great for diabetics. And uh, that's great. So I'll post the recipe and hopefully you'll